All right, so in today's video, I kind of just wanted to talk about the whole tower situation and my take on it and kind of just try to get your guys input. So feel free to comment down below, like right now, like how do you feel about the tower situation and what direction Withering Waves can take with this? Because I do feel like it is an issue in itself, but everyone has their own reasons why they may like the changes or may not like the changes so you know if you guys are under a rock you don't play as much because you're casual or something like that so it was already announced last month that scar was actually going to be nerfed because scar was like an elden ring kind of gotcha boss for a lot of people because his high attack re frequency and it really showed the skill gap if you're able to actually clear scar or not because how much scar attacks Scar was basically Morning Ikes when Wooden Waves first came out because Morning Ikes was literally the hardest boss because how much Ikes attacks and the certain things you have to look out for because how the certain mechanics switch up. Scar was basically the next iteration of that. And it's very interesting because when we've had morning ikes and tower i've never seen so many people complain about it compared to scar now i'm not too sure if it's just because gen c made everyone turn their brain off in a sense like hear me out no one was really complaining about morning ikes but now that gen c is not able to clear scar because spectral resistant now the game's hard all of a sudden I'm not really grasping, you know, how things switched up. And it's crazy now because I'm checking on Reddit and I'm seeing people say, oh, Scar was nerfed, but Morning Ice is now hard for me because of attack frequency. See what I mean? Now, what if they nerf Morning Ice? Like, so it's really, and you know what's really funny? as well is that so many people that play wua hated games like zelda zone zero right and i'm sorry to bring up you know a hoyo game in a wooden race conversation because we already know how that works out but people complained about zelda zone zero bosses feeling like they do nothing scar literally feels like that now scar literally feels attacks are in slow motion and you can rotate Scar no issues now because he barely even attacks now. Now it feels like a Zelda Zone Zero boss. The same thing that you guys didn't want because you guys were roasting the fuck out of Zelda Zone Zero because of that. So it's like, what do you guys want? Do you guys just want HP bloated characters like that? Like, I'm not really understanding. And the reason, like, I'm all for everyone getting the rewards, like clearable content for everyone to be able to get all the rewards that they can to stack up asteroids. But gameplay modes like tower, they're not really meant for casuals for you to 30, 30 as a casual, you'll probably end up getting 21, 24 always. 100%. But to sit there and you don't even play the game and you want a 30 30, there's so many people that are free to play that have way better builds than mine because they actually play the game. And of course, they're going to 30 30. I have like some of the most trash stat lining characters out of like actual free to plays that actually grind the game. I have like the most average Andy characters. My Chang Li, my Gen C, my Gion is 238, still able to 30 out of 30. No, I don't have dupes. I have one dupe on her, no dupes on Chang Li. My Chang Li can actually solo stages. And it's like I'm not really getting the whole. Oh, I. My characters are weak in a sense so you know the game's hard but this should be nerfed so i'm able to clear it now and 
the reason why I even brought up Reddit before, because we'll actually go over Reddit, right? I actually wanted to talk about some things because I wanted to get a differing opinion here. So I was doing a little research and, you know, I'm like, okay, what are people on Reddit saying about the whole tower situation, right? And, you know, free to play, right? Oh, I'm a free to play player, able to clear. Awesome, right? The actual free to play player that actually plays the game, right? Like they end up clearing stat lining is literally like mine 255 262 231 206 236 20 you know maybe 20 percent less right 240 it, it's crazy when you actually stat line your characters that they're able to clear something and even if they weren't able to 30 out of 30 this tower they can definitely 21 at least if you actually play the game and the reason why I'm getting on people not playing the game and complaining about it is because I literally have done tower clears on stream of people that do not know how to gear their characters. I get on their account, they have no echoes. Oh, why can't I clear? Oh, well, I mean, who would have guessed? <laughs> um, and then, you know, stuff like this, right? Like someone stuck with 17 stars, they have meta units with signature weapon, but you're struggling. Echoes are bad, not even one unit over 20% crit damage. It's like, no kidding. No kidding, you're not going to be able to clear. That's not how it works. And it's crazy because people will see stuff like this and be like, oh, it's just this person that has geared characters like this. No, it's a lot of people. I had a sample size of 6 to 10 accounts and 90 percent of them were like this so i can only imagine people that are just playing the game to play the game if you're just playing the game to play the game then keep it that way i'm not really seeing the whole thing where we're complaining about tower rewards of course you're not gonna be able to get it but if you play the game yeah you're gonna be able to get it eventually and the thing is like over time right in any gacha game i believe that we learn well not learn over time in any gacha game i believe there's so many characters that come out that tower doesn't even feel hard anymore in the first place tower no longer feels hard because the characters that come out so nerfing it now just makes it worse later because it's just going to be easier later anyways and <laughs> the amount of people that are using gen c versus scar is baffling to me because i believe there's like so many people that don't know that bosses have resistances they just think that they can just use gen c for everything and i really think it's like not every issue is the gen c issue but i feel like 80 percent is gen c because so many people pull gen c because all the videos and everything going on and now that they can't use her for a scar i mean they weren't able to last rotation now it's a problem so i don't know that's just my opinion i'm kind of just throwing whatever's in my brain right now out there um this is also something i was talking about you know they fixed scar because he attacks frequently and then morning ice then added morning ice that now only attacks at high frequency too morning ice has always attacked at high frequency but now we're complaining about this like this is what i mean like, do you guys just not want characters that attack at a high frequency at all? Do you want them to be the Zenless Zone Zero bosses that you guys hate the game for so much? And then, you know, the number one argument that people love to say, oh, you know, just play PGR if you want a hard game. Just play PGR. Like, that's such, like, a cope thing to say. Just play PGR. Now, if they want to nerf regular tower that's that's fine that's okay i suppose but i would love for them i would say half anniversary maybe add a mode where it's a tower mode but maybe harder bosses like hologram versions of them but the thing is and we have with people like this right where they feel as though they don't want a harder 
mode for tower because they want to get the rewards as well and that's just not how it works there's going to be harder content in gacha games that because they need content and if you're just not going to play the game to try to do that content then there's no reason that you should get the rewards like it is what it is so that's just my take on it you know i'd love to hear your guys opinion on it but i just want to talk about this because i feel like it's something that can be good but can go really really bad so thank you guys so, so much for watching this video um leave a like subscribe if you guys haven't yet join the discord link in the description down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace